How's it going everybody? Jesse Patella here with Redefine FX and I just installed Embergen 1.0. These will be my very first impressions. I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of the software, go over some of the presets. I'm recording this video in 4K resolution so feel free to make it full screen so you can see for yourself the kind of detail that I'm getting with the presets that ship with the 1.0 version. These are brand new presets that were not available before. So you can just click on this home screen and presets and you're presented with nice previews of all the presets that come with the software. A lot of very useful and beautiful simulations here. I'm just gonna point out some of the ones that stand out to me. So I love this dry ice smoke. I am on a 4090 RTX. And this is the speed and detail that I'm getting right now. I'm gonna hit control space bar to make this full screen for you. Just gonna zoom in. So they introduced this Ray March sharpening. That's a brand new sharpening feature that ships with 1.0 that really adds some beautiful detail to the simulations. So what you can do is go under the shading node rendering and here you have Ray March sharpening. Just to show you, I'm gonna turn it off and I'm getting a much more sort of blurrier result and enable it again. I'm not sure if you can see it in the exported video, but it is definitely a noticeable difference and you can play with the amount of the sharpening here, maybe crank it way up. So I'm gonna do 500% and I'm really getting some beautiful wispy smoke. Let's check out some of the other presets. So maybe this oil fire looks pretty awesome. This one is a little bit slower, but look at how huge the simulation is and the amount of detail that you're getting inside of it. So very, very cool. I'm going to open this fire jet preset. And you can, of course, adjust all the settings in real time. It's it takes some getting used to to really believe that this is happening in real time. So I can just go under the emitter for the particles injection and I can crank up the fuel injection for the particles and I'm getting a much larger fire now super cool so I'll just set it to maybe 50% let it settle down a little bit we can maybe go under shading flames and there's actually a gradient plugged into the fire color so I can just unplug that and instead make my own um, color gradient and I can add some, let's say, blue colors into this into this fire and very easily get something that looks maybe more magical like this. Next feature are these frozen particles which become activated gradually over time. So I think we're all thinking the same thing, you know, bridge collapse, uh, building destruction. Again, I'm gonna make it full screen so you can see the detail. I'm gonna hit R to reset the simulation and let it play through for you. Pretty awesome. I'm gonna just go through some of the other presets. I know that maybe some of you are curious if you haven't had time to install Embergen yet. Next one may be this particle wall collapse. And of course we have some explosions here, so maybe this battleship muzzle flash explosion looks really awesome. Again, R to reset and spacebar to pause the simulation. And we can go into the scene note and maybe just increase the contrast for the whole scene a little bit to make it stand out. And you can increase the bloom intensity and the radius to basically give it some glow as well or you can just turn that off under, again under shading rendering we have that ray march sharpening so this is without it a huge difference so this is a brand new feature in 1.0 that wasn't available before and really adds a huge amount of detail to the simulations so before after right there's also some more magical effects so we have this game explosion here 
just gonna hit R again to reset this. As well as some super realistic um, candle flame simulation. This one is one of the best I've ever seen, I must say. This one looks really good. So you can just go under File, New Project, and this is the default preset that will open for you when you first open Embergen 1.0. They've added some comments here to tell you what's going on, sort of like that first introductory tutorial. So I will soon upload a full beginner tutorial on my channel, but basically you're always going to start with some kind of a shape that you need to use as an emitter. So right now they're using the stores, but you can change it to, let's say, a tube or any other object. There's some noise added to the simulation to break it up. So this is without, this is with. So yeah, I'm not gonna get into this right now. I will have individual tutorials for everything. Just mainly wanted to show you some of these very cool presets and show you the detail and how fast everything is. It's definitely very addictive and very fun to play with in real time because it's just so easy to change these settings and see how everything changes. So I can, you know, decrease the smoke rate, reset the simulation, or I can increase it way more. I can add some additional pressure to this to get something way more violent. Super cool. All right, so if you enjoyed this overview, don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, I'll be uploading some Embergen tutorials. There's already some on my main channel, Redefine Effects, and I'll see you in the next one.